Hello everyone. This is IT System Admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to remove temporary files and folders automatically in Windows 10 computer. It's a very very important issue, so don't forget to watch full video. Temporary folder may become very large and full of files that you do not need. It may make your computer very slow. That's why sometimes it becomes very necessary for you to remove temporary files. Today in this tutorial I am going to show you how to remove temporary files automatically. Okay. Right click on start menu. Click on run. type percentage temp percentage click ok look this is the temporary files ok now click on up arrow click on again up arrow now click on roaming now click on microsoft click on windows now click on start menu click on programs and click on startup this is the location if you keep any executable file here, it will execute at start time. Okay, now close it. In server, type notepad. Open notepad. Now type rd space percentage temp percentage space slash s space slash q enter md space percentage temp percentage both are commands first commands for delete temporary folders including all files and folders in the temporary folder and second command is for make temporary folder okay now we need to save it click on files click save as Now click on desktop. Okay, fine. Select all files. Now give the location of a startup folder and the file name is clean dot batch. You know, bat is an executable file extension. Okay, now save it. The file, close this. Now right click on start menu, click on run, type percentage app data percentage. Uh, click OK. Now click on Microsoft. Click on Windows. Now 
click on start menu programs then start up look this is the file I have created now ok now close this window now restart your computer after restart the computer we can check whether the temporary files are deleted or not ok right click on start menu click on run type percentage app data percentage and click ok click up arrow click double click on temporary load the maximum temporary files have been deleted ok close the window this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much